Well, welcome now to day 47, Reasons Why Jesus Came to Die, to rescue us from final judgment. Hebrews 9.28 reads, Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Now, in the early days of seminary, I met a lot of people who said that there is no final judgment, God is love, God forgives everyone, um, there is no judgment at all. Um, this was surprising to me because all throughout scripture, God is judging, putting to death, punishing. Uh, God is just, and a just God must operate according to his law. And unfortunately for us, that is for sinners, the law is impartial, it is unbiased, and it is cold as ice. So we might say we love God's law, and certainly God's law is good, and it's a beautiful thing, something like love your neighbor, right? This is like a universal human law of goodness, and it's good in theory. Uh, but as soon as it is applied to us, love your neighbor or love your enemies, right? We become aware, what do we become aware of? That I have not done this, right? Uh, and then when you become aware of this, you become aware of the fact that, oh, now I deserve the punishment for not doing this, right? So this is what happens to us. Nevertheless, now for us who are in Jesus Christ, there is something higher than God's law. There is a second word, uh, as Luther says. So the law is not the final word. There's a second word. And the second word is above the law. And this word is God's gospel. And according to the gospel, uh, the final word for us is you are forgiven, right? So the final judgment, the final word that is spoken over us is not you are guilty, but you are forgiven. So oftentimes I meet a lot of people, right, that say, uh, if I ask them, in your current state, do you believe that God accepts you? And oftentimes the answer is no, because they know that they're sinning in life. Their life is full of sins. But I always say to them, the law is correct in identifying you as sinner. But that is not the last word. That is not the final word. There is a word above that word. And that is the gospel which says you are forgiven. Have a blessed day.